What's up, y'all? Uh, right now, we're in uh, Oxford Circuit. And uh, Oxford Circus, I mean, we're preaching the gospel. I want to make this quick video for you guys on what it looks like behind the scenes, stuff that you guys probably don't notice on how to really um, go out and do street preaching. Now, I'm going to show you guys. The, the, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is that how you street preach in a group. So um, I'm showing you this live. So you have one person that's preaching, street preaching. And then you have other people that are having conversations with people and passing out tracks. Now the preacher can have conversations with people and I do encourage it, but I would say only have conversations with people that genuinely want to talk about what's being presented. For example, if somebody says, you said this, can you explain it? Or how do you know God's real? And you can tell they're genuine, then you can have a conversation with them over the mic. So I would say by starting off, have one person preaching and then have other people around that are available to talk to people in the crowd. Have tracks, have resources of maybe your WhatsApp number or um, address to your church, things of that nature. So that way, you have everything available. You have somebody street preaching. You have people having conversations to pray with people as well. Then you have uh, tracks to pass out or Bibles to pass out. And then you always have information for follow-up. Follow-up meaning, how do they get in contact with you after the street preaching is done? How do they get in contact with you? So, for example, this is why I created this. So people can reach out to me whenever uh whenever um you know i meet people for follow-up you know it's a good thing to evangelize but it's important to also follow up because we're not just out here throwing out seeds we're actually throwing out seeds that we can walk with people and see where people are at with their journey with christ are they, are they trying to repent and believe in the gospel to become a christian are they not a christian but curious to ask questions and maybe later down the road they become christians so those are some of the things you guys should think through. so I'm about to show you what this looks like. So you have one person preaching, like my brother Gordon with the mic. You have another person maybe recording and things of that nature. He rose up the green. And then my other brother right here in the suit vest, he's passing out tracks. So he's passing out tracks and talking to people. See that? We must repent. And then my brother behind me in the flannel talking to this repent. lady. He's Every talking to people as well. So in the name of that's Jesus how Christ, you need to street for the remission in a group. of your sins. That's how you go about ministering to people. We want to reach people in different ways, in different forms of evangelism. Maybe you come out and join me and I'm street preaching and you want to talk to people. Well, come along because I can't talk to everybody. The street preacher or evangelist, the person that has the mic, they can't talk to everybody. So, so many people say, what do you do for follow-up? How many people do you have? Do you talk to these people? Yes, we do. But we also have other people that could play different roles while the evangelism is going on in different forms of it. So God bless you. I hope this helps you share this video. If it encourages you, continue to follow the journey. Share this video with as many people that you know it will help to equip and strengthen for the body of Christ. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.